Hi, hello. What have you stumbled on? Oh, a Halloween special of Rad Portraits, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is spooky scary. Tell you why I think they're spooky scary. And then I draw them using a different technique every single week. This week, not so much a drawing as much as it's a carving. I'm carving a pumpkin, baby! And who better to carve? Who better to feature for this Halloween special? Elvira. I even have like a really deep shirt on to honor her, but I can't myself honor her because I got itty bitty titties. All right, let's make like a serial killer and cut it up. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, is the boobalicious cult icon of all things Halloween. She's a character portrayed by the incredible Cassandra Peterson, who first appeared as the host of the weekly horror movie presentation Elvira's Movie Macabre. Elvira was defined by her tight-fitting, cleavage-featuring black gown and her sarcastic valley girl speech. Self-described as the vamp of camp, Elvira is a surprisingly refreshing sex symbol. She is whip-smart and brilliantly plays with her audience's expectations by presenting herself as a drop-dead and dripping sexual vixen before pulling the rug out from under her drooling admirers with a slapstick remark making it clear that she knows you're looking at her tatas. I love women like this. Women who take full ownership of their sexuality and don't shy away from allowing it to be a part of them. Often, we feel embarrassed when we're complimented, and when we're catcalled or made to feel objectified, the easy way out is to just smile and walk away. Elvira doesn't smile and walk away. Elvira pours hot coffee on your dick. Elvira is a punk rock vampire princess who demands respect from everyone in her life, and frankly, we all need to be a little bit more like her, if you ask me. She owned the 1980s, and even a bit of the 90s. She remains a cult icon to this day, and if she ever wanted to come back, I'm positive that Elvira would be an instant YouTube celebrity. Between her cutty brand of comedy and her potential for boobs in the thumbnail, oh, there'd be nothing in her way. It would be a matter of hours before she was at the top of your sub box. People like Joey Graceffa would be begging to do collabs with her. And if you won't believe how many Orbeez can hide in her cleavage isn't the name of the video, I don't know which way is up. I have to look at a dick! Like this video, subscribe to Snarled if you haven't already. If you like me and this makeup, check out my personal channel, Beth Be Rad, where I'll teach you exactly how to do this makeup. That's right, I did a makeup tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Here is what the pumpkin looked like a week after I carved it. Apparently the temperature in Los Angeles does not help pumpkins stay fresh for long. And finally, let me know in the description down below who you want me to draw on the next Red Portraits. And until then, stay creepy. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.